hey guys welcome back to my channel so you guys i am excited because this weekend i am going to bonnie eh, 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 eh. bonnie is actually an island close to port harcourt it's an island in river state and that's the home of nlng okay so i'm going there with a family friend they live on the island so i am going to visit bunny and i'm so excited because i'm going with my kids and we're going to be entering a boat i'll be entering a boat for the first time in my entire life yes i have not entered speed boats i have not entered any ship or whatever this is my first time entering a boat so i am going to be entering one with my kids and we are going to the island okay so hopefully we're going to have fun there yeah it's going to be a very interesting experience i'm trying to go out of my comfort zone more i'm trying to do things that i will not naturally do because my children cannot be like me i don't want my children to be like me because i'm a very reserved quiet indoors kind of person and i really don't like it to an extent because there are so many things that i should have experienced but i've not experienced them because i'm just too to myself and caged up and all that so i don't want my kids to be like that that is why i try to take them out often and i try to you know create new adventures for them so this boat one is going to be exciting ooh, ooh. <laughs> i'm so happy I'm so happy I've never finished packing though. I've never started packing actually, but I'm already very excited. I want to go and pack. Oh, see, you guys, today is Wednesday. Oh. Today is Wednesday, yes, but I will go and start packing because the trip is on Friday. I will come back on Sunday. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the trip. Anyway, my battery will soon die. I just wanted to start this vlog with my makeup because this makeup cannot come and waste. It cannot come and come and waste because I spent so much time doing makeup that I will soon wipe it away. I'm going to wipe it off now and then I'll see you guys later. So today is Friday now and I'm packing my things. Um, I'm still packing all our things in, uh, in the boxes. Yeah, we're all using... See, I've started overpacking you guys. I have started overpacking. I'm carrying four clothes for Cora. I don't know what I'm carrying four clothes for her. <laughs> four outfits. We're just staying Saturday. We're staying the whole of Saturday. Come back on Sunday morning. I don't know why I'm carrying four outfits. But okay, let me just reduce it. I think that's enough. That's enough. No, I think that's enough. Am I actually... Bring your clothes, oh. I better don't bring all those your Akirikata clothes here. You better select good ones and bring. <laughs> Before you can bring the ones now that they, they will not say this woman is suffering this child. Meanwhile, she has good clothes. Though. All right, so these are their bags. One is for Cora, one is for Ava. I brought their sweaters in case the boat is cold. I don't know how boat rides are, but I don't know. I think it might be cold. So that's why I brought their sweaters. I'm going to carry those. I'm going to put those ones in my handbag or I'll just hold them and i don't know where to put my toiletries these are the only things i'm carrying so yeah i'm just going to find a place for all these things and you know get going it's almost one o'clock now i was supposed to be there by 3 p.m so i want to just go and pick the kids bring them back they'll relax a bit eat um change their outfits and then we'll start going <laughs> I'm trying hard not to show my excitement, but I'm really, really excited. Even Cora is excited. I told her that we're going to enter a boat today. She said, wow, we're going to an island. We're going to see the dolphins. We're going to get treasures in her mind. We're going to that kind of island. <laughs> yes. We're going to see the dolphins. Are we going to see a mermaid? Are we going to find treasures? I said, yes. Oh, joy. When we reach there, we'll find out whether they have treasures or not. Anyway uh so yeah let me just finish packing and then go and pick them from school
guys, we're ready to go. I ordered a boat, boat taxify ride. So the ride is outside now, but I need to just switch off everything first before I go. I'll just put on the inverter anyway. Uh oh, it's already dark. <laughs> I'll just put on the inverter and I'm good to go. So see you guys on the road. Guys, we just got to Bonnie. Come now, come. All right, so guys, we just got to Bonnie now. Hi, Hi. how was your ride? Fine. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes. What did you do? We, we just sailed on the water. Yes, we sailed on the water. And come down and go to the back. Yes. <laughs> Ava. Ava. Good afternoon. So we are at the Finima Nature Park. Abi, yeah. Finima. Yes. Will everybody say hi? Hi. <laughs> yes, say hi. <laughs> so yeah, we are with the kids right now, and we are going into the park. Hopefully, it's going to be interesting for them because we're looking, we're looking for activities around the island that everybody is going to enjoy. So let me show you guys. Here yeah, looks so cool and serene. So that's it. Finima Nature Park. It doesn't look so cool. I'm telling you. We are the colorful flowers. Uh, colorful feathers, I mean. Come, we're going to change her now. By the Atlantic Ocean and Finima community and to the east by Bonny communities. Well known as a perfect preserve of flora and fauna, Finima Nature Park was established in 1999 by Nigeria LNG with the foresight that increased industrialization and industrial activities on the island would create an impact on the ecosystem. 
and so there had to be a deliberate effort to maintain and preserve the biodiversity of Bonny Island in its natural state as much as possible. Down the water.
Oh, this one. This one looks like monkey or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It looks similar to human. Mm. These are bones. Mm. No, I mean the shape and look. So which part of the of the this is a well, Abby? This is a well. Okay. That will probably be better than for this. Oh. During Ebola, that time that Ebola was spreading, that was where we found this well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is it the one that some people we are eating? Exactly. Oh, okay. Uh, you see, why this one was not eaten is that because of the Buddha, everybody mm. was scared. scared. Okay. So nobody wants to come to that because less of uh, eating. eating it. So we went there because uh, we know that uh, the, the fish in the water cannot contact uh, the Buddha. Yeah. yeah. Before we got there, some part of the fish, some part of the flesh. Okay. So we managed to bring to move the flesh. They just sample of it. Okay. Okay, part of the flesh. Yes. Mm. This is the back. Mm. The former side, the back of it. Because this well, if you see it, it's just like meat, cow meat. Hmm. Yeah. When you see cow meat, you, you don't. No, you will eat it and thinking that it's cow meat, but it's a well. Wow. Uh, this is just the form of it. Okay. What we, uh, form of it. That is what we kept here. Okay. So we are finally leaving Bonnie today. Cara, did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Eh? No. You didn't have fun? No. Why? Because my friends are gone. They are not gone, they went to church. Okay. Yeah. So we are leaving today, we are going back to Port Harcourt today and we really had a lot of fun. I wasn't able to vlog as much as I should or I wanted to. Well, not I wanted to actually, I just didn't want to bring up my camera too much because I really wanted us to have fun and you know vlogging takes away some part of the fun, not all the fun but when you start vlogging it makes things a little bit more or a little bit less exciting or you don't experience things as well as you would if you weren't like trying to capture the moment and all that so I didn't bring out my camera much because of that and also to respect the privacy of our hosts I just didn't want to start bringing our camera and shoving it in their faces you know <laughs> when we're trying to have fun and all that so yeah the change of uh oh what's happening <laughs> so yeah the change of environment was really good for us you know I, I don't know I feel different and the air here is just fresh, no black suits. <laughs> no black suits. I was just looking around the house and I was just like, no black suits. Normally, my own house, around the corners of the house where you know you can't really sweep or wash very well, they're usually black. Inside the cracks of the tiles and stuff like that, they're usually very black. But here everything is so neat and so so clear because there's no black suit. So we've we've been breathing fresh air for the past two days. I feel like coming back. <laughs> The, my friend, the person who is hosting us has been so, in fact, uh, she has been so nice to us. She has really, really helped me this weekend. She really, she has really taken care of us this weekend. If I, I I'm going to tell her that, sister, the way you are going, I'll be coming here every weekend though. Every weekend I'll pack my bags and follow you <laughs> and come here. So our flight is around, uh, I say flight, I say, <laughs> our boat ride is by 11 um, a.m. or past 11 or so so but this is just past nine so we'll soon be going let me around 10 we'll start leaving um yeah and to be honest the boat ride actually feels like flights it, this is almost the same thing the only the only difference is that you are seeing water <coughs> and also there are places where you know the boat kind of goes up and down but it's not really that bad because it almost feels like when a a plane is passing through 
clouds or when there's turbulence or something so it's really not that bad like ah i really enjoyed the boat ride i wasn't able i don't know if you guys can notice from the footage i wasn't able to film a very clear image of the sea i was filming through the windows of the boats and the windows were really tinted so um i'm not sure i'll be able to get a clear clear image but now that we're going in daytime because that day was really dark rain fell and it was evening but now that we're going in daytime i mean we're going in the afternoon i hope i'll be able to get clearer image of the sea anyway i have talked too much um i'll see you guys when we get to the jetty Yeah, so we are back to Port Harcourt now and I don't know why I feel like someone just came back from their abroad. <laughs> I feel like someone that had just come back to Nigeria. I'm so excited because I have entered flights both international and local. I have entered the train both abroad and in Nigeria and now I have entered the boat in Nigeria. So the next stop is going to be to enter a ship most likely going to be a cruise ship i'm just speaking into the universe i'm putting it out there because this must happen for me even if it's not this year next year but it's going to happen for me soon that's gonna happen for me in jesus name okay so there's something peaceful about being on a boat i don't know if it's because i feel it's safer i feel like you know worst case scenario you just be with your life jacket on water i don't know okay so i'm also going to give it up to them everything was so organized organized to a t you know we left on time we arrived on time everything was just perfect you know even though when we got there we got there kind of late that's why i didn't even film uh getting there because we got there kind of late we rushed in immediately but yeah everything went as planned everything was just well organized so i give it to them whoever is i know it's nlng that is uh, that owns the boat and all that but yeah maybe because it's nlng that owns it but everything was really really organized you know the safety procedures everything was just on point okay so yeah i'm going to try and be doing this once a month <laughs> I keep saying this about any new experience I have, apart from the training experience, yeah. But any new experience I have, I'll be saying, oh, I'll do this once a month. What the way go? What the way go? Once a month, once time. Okay, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Mwah.